baby club. Welcome to the club today. We are continuing from where we stopped in the last class. The last class is in Genesis chapter 25. 25. And then um, we talked about Ivan married another wife called Ketu. Good. And then we talked about the death of Abraham. Abraham, Abraham, not Isaac. Abraham. And how also Abraham prayed for Rebecca to have children because Rebecca was bar. Right. Right. And, and Isaac right. had, right. yeah, Rebecca had two children, yes. twins, is that not so? Two. Twins, yes. which is two boys. What's their name? Yes. Esau and yes. Jacob. Jacob. Yes. Esau and Jacob. What was the memory verse? Can you remember yes. the memory verse? Yes. Genesis chapter 20, verse 5. Yes, chapter 25, verse 25, verse 32. Very good. And what does it say? He says, and Esau said, said Look, I am about to die. die. What, what is the best right, right to me? me? Very good. Today we are taking Genesis chapter 26. Genesis. And it's about Isaac and Abimelech. Abimelech is the king of Gera. There was farming in the land where Isaac was. And Isaac decided to take a leave and go to where there are greener pastures and god said to isaac don't go dwell in this land dwell in this land and i will bless you there all the promises that i made to your father abraham because your father abraham obeyed me and loved me and walked with me diligently i will fulfill them to you and so isaac obeyed god just like his father but isaac said Rebecca, you are a very beautiful man, just like what his father did so to Sarah. When he said, Sarah, tell them you are my sister. I said, sister Rebecca, sister. tell them I that you are my sister. You are my sister. Yeah. But one day, Abimelech saw Isaac playing with, uh, no, playing with Rebecca. And Abimelech said, this kind of play is not the play you play with your sister. It's the play with your husband and wife play. This woman was being you can, you can, Isaac's wife. You can play in toys. No, not that kind of talk play. The play that husband and wife play. So, Abimelech now said, Isaac, you said Rebecca is your sister, but it's not true. Rebecca is actually your wife. Why did you tell us that she's your sister? Isaac said, because... I was scared that somebody may kill me because of Rebecca's beauty. Just like his father was scared. So yes. Just like his father Abraham was scared so that they would kill me because of his beauty. But Abimelech now said to everybody in the land that nobody should disturb Isaac and Rebecca. If anybody touch them or treat them badly, they will answer to me, Abimelech, the king. So because of that, Isaac was not free to dwell in the land with his wife and he was no more afraid. And God blessed Isaac in that land with plenty goods. Isaac became very rich and big that the land was not too small for him. To the point that we made yeah, as he dug a well. I mean, basically he's small. That's why he Isaac dug all the well that the father dug before and they covered up. He dug them again. And the Philistines came to battle with him. They stride with him over the well and he left it for them. He got another one. The same thing happened. He came to strike with it. What to claim the land. So he left it for them again. What he he got the third one and nobody strived with him. And this one brought a good water, spring of water. And he called the name of that well, Rehoboth. Yeah. Saying that God has given him rest. Say Rehoboth. Rehoboth. Meaning that God has given him rest. Nobody is not striving with him. So Abimelech said to Isaac, You have become mightier than us. You can no more stay in our land. You have to yes. go. We need to so, go out. Yeah. So Isaac now took all his property and all his blessings and shifted from Abimelech and his people. Mommy. After Isaac left Gera, Abimelech and one of his commanders came to meet Isaac where he was not leaving. Because in that place, God already promised him that he should not be afraid that he would bless him the way he blessed his father Abraham. So, 
Abimele came and said, I meant to say, why did you come to me now? Did you not ask me to leave your land? Why are you coming to me? And Abimele said, We have seen that God is with you and is blessing you. You are such a mighty man. We want you to swear to us that you will live in peace with us. You will not fight against us. You understand? Just like they did to his father, if I can remember the same thing they did to him, and so they said, hey, Show to us, swear to us that you will not want to fight us in any way. And the same thing they did to Isaac. And Isaac told them, No problem, no problem. So they, they swore in the altar that Isaac built to the Lord and they believed in peace. Okay? So in the morning they rose up and that was it. They went back to their land. But remember Esau and Jacob, they are the children of Isaac. Let's see, I'm stopping. Keep quiet. Isaac now? Yes. Isaac is the father of Jacob and Esau. Isaac is the husband of Rebecca. Remember? It's not the married Rebecca. Remember? Yes, so. So Esau, when he was 40 years, he went to the Hittites and got a wife for himself. But the woman became a problem to Isaac and Rebecca. You understand what I'm saying now? Isaac and Rebecca did not like the woman. They were not happy that Esau went to marry from those people. God does not want them to marry among the children in that land. That was why Abraham did not allow Isaac to marry from that land. He said he went to his own land to get a wife for Isaac through his servant Eliezer. You know, remember that story? Good. So, but Esau went to marry from the Hittites, and God did not like that. That was where. That's where Genesis chapter 26 ended. Now we're going to take a memory verse. Memory verse. Memory verse. Genesis, Genesis chapter 26. Genesis Genesis chapter 26. Chapter 26. Verse 16. Verse 16. And Abimelech said to Isaac. And Abimelech said to Isaac. Go away. Go away. Go away from us. Go away from us. For you are much mightier than us. So you are more mightier than us. For you are more mightier than us. For you are more mightier than us. And Abimelech said to Isaac. And Abimelech said to Isaac. Go away from us. Go away from us. For you. For you are more. Are more mightier. Mightier than us. Than us. Go away from us. Go away from us. For you are much mightier than 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 us. And Abimelech said to Isaac. And Abimelech said to Isaac. Go away from us. Go away from us. For you. For you. Are much. Are much mightier. That is Genesis chapter 26. Genesis chapter 26. Verse 16. Verse 16. Genesis. Chapter 26. Verse 16. Verse 16. And Abimelech said to Isaac. And Abimelech said to Isaac. Go away from us. Go away from us. For you are much mightier. For you are much mightier than us. Very good. Now, what are we going to sing? People can get on that side. Okay, let's sing Abraham's blessings again. Mm -hmm. Abraham's My blessings are mine because Abraham was a very good father to Isaac Move. and he followed God. Listen first, okay? Move. Move No, can't you can't force a song? Then it's not time for that. Mommy. Abraham was a good father to Isaac. He followed God and because of Abraham, God was blessing his son Isaac. When we are good and we walk and obey, we walk with God and obey God, God will bless our children because of us. Did you hear me? Amen. So all our parents must learn to walk with God in obedience. 
so that because of our parents, God can bless us. And we too must work with God in obedience so that because of us, God can bless our children. Yeah. So, the blessings of Abraham became the blessings of Isaac because Abraham obeyed God. So, we are going to sing Abraham's blessings and Say to Jesus, baby, close. Bye.